Welcome to this new episode of American TV Lift Spotlight. Today we're showcasing our American TV Lift standard mechanism. Even though there's nothing standard about it, we're gonna go over all of the features it has and all of the time-saving capabilities that it's gonna give you step by step. So first, we're gonna talk about the engineering system that it has that makes it work and function and be so reliable. It has custom designed lifting, lifting pulleys. Here's a few here that we designed painstakingly to work just precisely for this machine. They are proprietary to American TV Lift. It has a 14 point guide system. Let's go ahead and operate the lift. There's guide systems at the top, there's guide systems at the bottom, there's guide systems on the sides, all designed to keep it very stable as it lifts, regardless if the load is on the left or the right or in the middle or whatever you have. The lifting system itself is carbon fiber. It's the only one like it in the world. As we know, carbon fiber is space age material, strong as steel, but super quiet, never wears out. There's auto tensioning system on each side, which keeps everything perfectly aligned side to side, regardless of how big it is. We can do 120 inch TVs and they'll still stay perfectly straight. It's not lifting from the middle, trying to balance a like a basketball goal, it lifts from both sides, like an aircraft carrier elevator lifts a plane from below deck to the top of the deck. There's built-in mechanical clutches. Murphy's Law, something where it would be left inside, a tool or something like that. Uh, if it hits that obstruction, the clutches will slip and it'll keep anything from being damaged. There's drive gears on each side. They're four inches in diameter, 39 tooth, custom design. There's a one inch thick drive shaft that runs from one side to the other. Uh, no wire or anything like that to keep alignment. As you can see, it's a one inch steel drive shaft, cold rolled, you're never gonna break this. And it keeps perfect communication with the other side of the lift. There's a gearbox inside this area here. Now right here is an example of one. It's a 21 pound cast iron gearbox. We change the ratios of these gearbox for different speeds and different strengths that we need that our customers ask us to do. There's a quiet 140 volt DC motor uh, designed to run and run and run for a lifetime. It has a noise isolation motor mount, which is why it's so quiet when it operates because any noise that it does generate, which is minimal, is then isolated, just like a V8 inside of a pickup truck. Uh, it isolates it on a rubber motor mount. One of those questions we get asked a lot is, oh, I want it at the foot of the bed or a different orientation. And when you select that or order that from us, we know that the front of your chassis, you would like to face the room, but the TV itself is gonna face your bed, uh, even though we get requests to do them both ways but we always ask that question and we get that set up for you. We always provide a universal television mount, which gives you even more versatility to deal with different VESA patterns and things like that on different TVs. So the TV case is the heart and soul of what you're gonna be working with and what it's doing. And there's all kinds of things that we do with this, with this case. I mean, from just simply holding the TV to pivots that are manual or motorized. This one here, this system here features a motorized swivel. And we do manual swivels, we do motorized swivels. You can stop them anywhere you want. They go a full 351 degrees and we can do preset stops for you. As you can see, it's quiet and it's fast. And that's the way we like to do things here at American TV Lift. We don't wanna wait on things and we don't want things screaming back at us. Okay, other things we do, second stage uh, height extension if you want your TV to go up even higher. Uh, we also do sound, sound bar second stage lifts and we can combine those two mechanisms where we can do the sound bar tucked behind the TV and have it move up. Uh, we do forward TV extension too, which is a feature where the, you know, the lift is so stout that we can literally have the TV move forward and basically you get a larger TV for the price of a smaller TV and we can do small component storage. There's always a little bit of space behind the TV. You can, you can mount small cable boxes, uh, DVD players, things like that behind there. 
This area here is cut for you for natural ventilation of heat. The heat goes into the chassis, goes out through the top, but we can also add thermostat control cooling fans there. They can be mounted in there. Right on top of here is a simple three button limit control to set the limits of the lift. It's very simple to do. You probably will never need to do it, but if you ever do, it's really simple to get in there. And uh, we have instruction videos and everything on how to do that. The motor itself has a soft start and soft stop so that it has a nice gentle movement for your display. There's also thermal overload built into the, into the machine. In case, you know, the kids are running it, having fun with it, seeing it going up and down because they're unique. You know, if they run it too much, it'll, it'll stop and uh, it, it keep anything from being damaged and things like that. It basically just sits idle for 30 minutes and then it starts running again. Uh, but you can tell them that they broke it and, you know, sent them to their room. Easy access to the control board. If, like, you know, this thing is designed to last a lifetime, but let's say your house gets hit by lightning. We're here in Oklahoma, we had 645 lightning strikes in 10 minutes yesterday in a storm. So, it could happen, and if that control board were to get fried, it's easy to get in there. It literally, it can be changed in five minutes. You open up this panel, and we'll send you a new con control board, and you can swap it out, no problem. Uh, we always offer a lift, lift activation button right here. Uh, and that's for, you know, number one, it's easy to find in case you lost your remote or if you're troubleshooting, no, I don't know, my remote's not working, you know, the repeater system's not working. Uh, we have it right there. It's first thing to test. In this area is where we do our interface control for Wi-Fi, contact closure, discrete IR, uh, maybe a key, uh, key switch so that you can, uh, uh, if you don't want anyone to operate unless they have a key. We also offer adjustable legs. It's a simple system, but it's super strong. As you can see, half inch steel bolt, bolted to the bottom of the cabinet. You can adjust it with a three quarter inch wrench. So from the outside, you can raise and lower the cabinet. Sometimes these things can get really heavy, depending on how big they are. We have low profile casters that can be pre-installed for you. They're super low height and they're really strong. They're amazing how much but how much they can move, and even though they're not very tall, it took a long time to find them and, and get them to work right. There's a cable grommet at the top of the lift that you can run your wires through. We do offer pre-installed cable packages. Uh, if you'd like to have that, we'll pre-install the cables for you. Usually, typically three HDMIs, coaxial, optical, ethernet, and we also do a surge protector. Uh, that we can put inside the machine for you as well. This, this unit has a swivel, so what the wires are gonna run through this hollow pipe. It's a quarter inch thick steel pipe, and the wires run out the top. And what's nice about that, this is very important, that the, the swivel itself swivels around the wires so they don't get tangled because they're inside the pipe. That is a very, very important feature. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the time-saving design. There's a reason why we offer a chassis with our system, and it's because you're gonna need one in the end. If you're gonna do a TV lift for a client, uh, or you're gonna put it in a wall, or you're gonna put it in the floor, you need to protect the lift, you need to protect the TV, so eventually you're gonna to have to build this. So the idea is we start with this, because in the end we know that's where you're gonna to get to, and you're gonna save a lot of time that way. Uh, the bottom fed wire management goes into the bottom, goes up through the wire management chain and up to the TV case. It also goes out the back. We've got adjustable slots here, pre-cut for you to mount your TV. You've got adjustable in the, in, in the universal mount and you've also got adjustability in the case itself. You've got alignment pins at the top. What they are here is they are designed so that you can, you can mount a top to it if you're gonna do a finished top and you don't have to do a hinge system which dumps everything off the cabinet onto the floor. Everything rides up with it. And, and the way that works is here's a unit here that has that, it's all finished out and the, uh, the pins allow alignment left and right but the lid will lift right off. Again, it's all about saving time. When you're doing a TV lift, there's all kinds of calculations you have to do 
to make sure that TV's gonna fit in there and there's not a bunch of extra wasted space or the cabinet's way bigger than it needs to be or it's too small. And oh my gosh, that's even worse, right? The TV won't fit. So we do all those calculations for you in five inch increments. We start at 40 inches and we go up. You're gonna get a sub top when it comes with it. There's, it's pre-drilled for you. You can mount your top directly to this, right on top of it. Same thing with the sides. You got three quarter inch sides here, regardless of what they're made of. You're gonna bolt your sides right to it. You can open up the TV case, open up the access panels, and then you can get to the back here and you can mount the back. You can also use the back with pre-cut screw pockets into the side panels to hold them on. The floor you can use them out to the ground, uh, or if you have bun feet and things like that, you can mount those. All right, so the chassis depth. The standard chassis depth is 17 and an eighth or 21 and a quarter. And those are the most common choices that people have, and so those are the ones we offer. But we can do custom sizes. If you think you want a different depth, you're like, I want to make it really deep, I want a 28 inch chassis, we'll do it for you, you just let us know. All of this area is here for you to use for shelves and drawers and things like that. Whatever type of storage you want to have. If you want to put a sound bar in here, you can put sound bars in there. Okay, so the chassis colors are available as unfinished if you're going to spray it with a clear finish or you want to paint it, uh, or we can send them out a specific color if you'd like. Uh, same thing with the TV case. If you want a specific wood, if you're using quarter sawn oak for the cabinet, when we do a lift cabinet here, we always make it match the cabinet. We can absolutely send that TV case out in quarter sawn oak. All right, so we also have Excel PVC we make the chassis out of, and a lot of times we use that for outdoors, but if you want it for indoors, we can do that as well. Access panels are here in the front, and we have more in the back. So you can get inside the TV channel any way you would like to. Uh, and it's nice to have those pre-cut for you so that you know that you can get in there. You don't have to do all those calculations. We cut them all out with the robot. All right, and the TV cases again, it's all about aesthetic appeal with the TV case and functionality. It is gonna make the TV look great when it's up. You're not gonna be able to see behind it and see all the wires and everything like that. You can't see down in the cabinet and see how the lift even works. Once it's all done, you can't tell. And the idea, the whole concept behind all of this is this. This is what you're gonna concentrate on if you're a cabinet maker. What you're really good at, which is furniture making, wood carving, finishing. Inside this cabinet is a lift just like this. And this cabinet maker saved all kinds of time because he started with this chassis and he was able to concentrate on what he was really, really good at. So thank you for watching this episode of American TV Lift Spotlight. There's gonna be more to come. This is again, our standard mechanism. We have nine different mechanisms that we offer and they're all based on this simple principle that you're gonna need a chassis or a case. So why not order it that way? And the day it arrives, why not have it work? And then you can move on and make more money in your business. Thanks again.